You're welcome back to this video and in this course. This is where we stop on the last one you just watched now. Now in this video and in this particular section, I'm going to be teaching you how to use this tool, this Facebook ad library and also this particular tool to create our own Facebook ad. The first thing to do now is to go to our ad manager. Now we have created two ads and I didn't try to run this ad. It's just for testing purposes. Now I'm going to click on create a new campaign. When I create a new campaign, I'm going to start with a new one. Then I'll select the next one, which is the engagement. Now, these are things you need to engage with the people. The first one we tried was awareness, traffic, engagement. Now, get more messages, video views, post engagement, page likes, or event. And this is good for Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. If you want people to come to you, your WhatsApp, engage with your post, like it, and comment. Get more people to view your videos, post engagement, and even get conversions. It's very nice if you want to use this. Now, these two ad campaign, the engagement and awareness, helps very, very well to get your ads up and running very quick because these are what you need on your campaign to work very, very well. So, let's just go ahead and start. It. Let me just name it already. I've told you how to name it, this thing. I'll just say EN ad copy paste um, add level right main add then I'll click on continue now what we need to do now is to brainstorm on the kind of business you want to use for this engagement ad campaign all these campaign objectives have similar things they do for you. So this is where you set up the most things about this ad objective. So I've already discussed about this since already. So I'm not going to use ad A-B test because I'm not doing conversion. I'm not doing sales or lead generations. So what I'm going to do now is the option is already there. So click. I don't, I'm not going to use this ad objective or something like this. Just click on next. All right. So I'm just click on it. I'm just fast follow this particular video now so that we just get it up and running. Now, the most place we have to put interest is the conversion side. Now, this is what you want this campaign to do for you. Do you want to get more people to engage with your brand or messenger, WhatsApp or Instagram? Or on your ad, you want people to watch a video, interact with your post or event? Or you want to get people to engage with your website? Or you want to get people to engage with your application and also probably get people to get into your page now for the particular video side depending on what you want to do and depending on the kind of results you want to get on your ad or your campaign decide choose the one that works for you this particular video is for educational purposes and it's for examples so i might decide on my own to choose any particular goal i want to for this particular thing to work i will choose websites right i will choose my website then i'll scroll down what i want to do right now is i'm going to be selecting a goal right i'm going to select a goal and this is where that facebook p cells have to work right that's this is the place that that p cell has to work i use this ad campaign objective because i wanted to text something i want to reach more people i want engagement on my post right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select this this one performance i already told about this already now so it's not new thing again so just find one that you can want to your goals you want to just check so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select any event just select any one let's say i'm going to select um i'm going to select these are custom event i created before so i'm going to select any one just join anyway it's, it's, anyhow you want to just do it do it okay but on your own select the conversion that's the p cell you created already so remember that i use another ad campaign another ad manager for this particular thing so right now i can decide to ask facebook all right to select to use this particular money i'm putting here let me say by any conversion i get i want them to charge me 20 naira they will charge me that 20 naira they will not charge you more than 20 naira this helps also to get you more of your ad spend it controls how, how much you get in your conversion it control the conversion of your ad and your campaign so don't go over do something don't go and say you want them to charge 10 naira it doesn't work that way most time this thing will not even work all right most time it will not even work 
So I'm just testing it to show you how some things work. So for here, I'm not going to do it. I'm just leaving everything like this. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to click on creative, dynamic creatives or something like that. I'll leave everything budget like this. You can change it to this one for testing purposes. Then the audience size now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select, like I told you in the last video, right? I'm going to select some states. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to deselect Nigeria. I don't want to target the whole Nigeria anyways. I'm going to deselect Nigeria. I'll select only three states. Lagos. Right? I want to just target the whole of Lagos state. Alright, this is Lagos state. No, this is a city. I don't want to target any city. Just the main Lagos I want to target. Alright, then I want to target the whole state. Lagos state. Okay, then I'm going to target Abuja. Depending on what you are selling and where you know that you can get customers, select Abuja. Then I'm going to select the next one, the next biggest city, which is Port Harcourt. I don't know for you, just select your own. No? Alright, select your own. I love it. That, that's okay for me. If I decide I can add more states, if I want to, even more local government, if I want to, just decide on what you want to do on your ad campaign, who you want to target. Then on this side now, I'll come to the age. I'll select some age. I'll just select from 30 years or just for testing purposes. Alright, depending on what you are selling. Look, let me select. The last one I selected was 23, I think. Let me select 25 years. And I'll select 35 years. This is where I want to target my audience to. So anybody that has 36 years will not see this campaign. So basically just 10 years gap. So you can see what I'm doing now. Then the gender, I can decide to leave the all gender or male or female, depending on what you are selling. Then I'll come for this demography. Then I'll select this language. Okay, let me select English. I love English only. Alright, I love English only. Then here, I will decide on what I want to sell. Now, I will just type something about health. Right, I will just type health because I want to target people that have health issues or health related issues. I want to sell them something. Right, I will not tell them this. Only health. I can decide to add more suggestions. If I click on suggestions now, you can see what is going to happen now. You can see health awareness. Now, because I typed help, you can see the audience size is 14 million. Now, we have interest, which is 207 million. Health awareness. I want to target people who have health, something like that. Maybe um, fitness help, like that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for this audience hunter. Right? Then, I'm going to tab health. Then click on search. I want to get more trash. I want to get more people, right? I'm going to get more people. Now, what? Look at what is going to happen here. I'm going to select the result that this thing gave me, right? And I made a mistake. First of all, is because health is a general something. I need to be, I need to be specific on the kind of health challenges I'm trying to solve with my campaign. Let's say it's for lungs, lung diseases. I'll just deselect, let me deselect everything and start again. So sorry for that. Let me deselect it. Let me just say, just, oh, basically I'll just select health. Let me just select health because health is health. All right. Health is health. So just select health only. Then I come here. I'll select. This is the one to get again. Why? So let me start afresh again to decide on what I want to type. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type the health again. I want to sh I want to this Facebook ad to show me more. I want this tool to show me more interesting in uh, interesting audience that I can target on my campaign. It works at every single time on your ad. So let's wait for it to load and give me the option that I needed. I thought I have typed something like this now. I don't know why it's giving me issues like this. I don't really know why it's happening. So, I don't know why it's happening like this. But let's wait for it. So, I'm going to just reload it. Okay. Just reload. 
and type it health related I don't know why my own is making me having issues like this just size again no no that must be a problem isn't it not for my browser my browser is okay okay what is happening what is happening okay now i have searched for the health you can see i have about 116 entries i can decide to download this thing and use on my campaign now look at what's happening here i have airborne health right let me just search for airborne health copy it like this okay i'll come to this facebook ad manager now i'll come to this place and i'll search for airborne Okay, we can see we have airborne health now. I'm targeting people who have airborne health issues. Now, this is the same way to do it. You come back here again. You search for anyone you want to. Um, dog health, you have fish, fitness, you have health and beauty, you have health care, health digest, uh, health informatics. Let me just search for this. Let me open this and search for it. All right maybe you don't know who to target right you can see now look at okay let me show you something now i copy this health informatics and i can see it's on business and industry if i come back here you can see the same health again it's on field uh on study okay so i'm going to just select this it's on everywhere it's on interest and it's this place now it's about twenty-one thousand something let me go back again let me show you something here let me show you something here you need to understand this is all the sites here and look at it again look at this here 1.6 million that's why you're seeing this thing here because it's on it's on interest so you need to put on interest alone you can see 1.634 1.364 so this is how to do it this is look at it here 1.364 the same thing that this tool is giving you is the same thing that is on facebook so you do the same thing and also if you want to exclude people you exclude right you do all this thing you come for this place now you can leave it at man automatic then you come to next you come to next right if you come to next the next thing you need to do here is you select the page you want to use now right now i'm going to just write my own ad copy by myself i'm not going to use any selected post so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the landing page of my site i'll just say something like my healthblog.com i'll just say something like buy product all right now this is what i wanted to do anyways so i'll come back here i'll just type something let's say i'll just say next week is our okay let me show you something we're going to do now we're going to add library course okay come to add library you search for health you search for health now it's going to show you a lot of results now i'm just going to use this as an example anyways but you have your own ad copies and everything you can see you have about nine thousand results so let's search for this thing let me just copy this ad copy i'm not trying to do the same thing i'm doing though please do your own store by yourself copy it and paste here i'm just showing how what is happening on facebook sometimes so this is what you're going to do look at my ad copies i love it like this then the next thing i'm just going to copy but please this particular place now this this thing i'm doing don't do it so use your own original ad copied creatives to do the same thing i'm doing all right use your own and do it the same thing i'm doing so i'll just come here and say i'll put the display link again you need to place it put your own art display link okay put your own display link let me open the page let me just open the page normally 
and copy the link this is how to do all these things so it's very very easy and if you understand this how this thing works now look at the page here i'm trying to get okay now these guys are selling something on the internet so they are not basically using engagement ads they are doing e-commerce and they are selling something for people so i'll select the page put the page back here this is the page the link to my website this is it the link to my website that is what you are what you are seeing here right now you can you can see what is happening here now you can see the page so what i'm going to do now is if i want to replace the the smokers this thing that says smokers or something here all right if i want to replace it it is very easy to replace so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come back here we have something called call to action so you have learn more and this particular person is using learn more so i can decide to choose another call to action button on my own so that i can see more you know probably your own text try with your own text and see what it works for you so on my own here i would decide to change another listen i can just say buy because i'm trying to sell something i'll just say order now your own might be different on your own side then if you decide to change the headline the headline is basically this thing you are seeing here smokers cleaners okay look at the person's headlines here it says get rid of half an effect okay I'll just something like this stop smoking take this and stop smoking in five days this something like this is okay for me I can try to put any headline that I wanted I want to just attract people to my ad so you can see now because i use this particular website and i don't need to put the image the image is okay for me on my own campaigns like the next thing to just do is to hit on publish then your ad is up and running so please take your time and understand that before you start anything on facebook you must have read the facebook ad times and condition and you must understand everything that works on facebook don't just be doing over Thing. Don't be doing complicated things on Facebook so that Facebook will not come down on your ad. It is very good if you understand Facebook very, very well. Facebook is a great place to advertise anything. So take your time out, understand some certain things here. We have languages, we have tracking, my Facebook pixels. You can see because I'm using this particular Facebook ad account for this campaign, that is why you're telling me my pixel is not active because I have not installed a pixel on my landing page. All right. So this is how you can do this in now the landing page you are targeting because this is an elite an engagement ad even i'm using it to sell my product so you need to understand that before you use all these things you can actually sell something and your ad copies must not be a claiming ad copies it must not be for claiming and you must understand that facebook has strict rules when it comes to selling some basic things on their platform so in the next video we are going on on the next campaign objective and i hope that you are enjoying these videos please share it and also invite your friends to learn more from this video so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video